Hi everyone, welcome back. If you do not know, my name is Devin. Here on my channel, I cover all things beauty. That includes fragrance, makeup, and designer luxury here and there. If you think that is something you would be interested in, then I hope you stay and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to like this video and comment down below anything that you wanna see next. And yeah. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison of the original Burberry Her and the Burberry Elixir. Um, these two are going to go head to head and I'm going to let you guys know if you need both of them or just one of the other. So if you guys want to see my thoughts and opinion on these two scents, then just keep watching. As most of you all know, Burberry Her is definitely one of my top five favorite scents of all time. It's definitely in the, you know, one of my signature scents. I love this scent so much. I have purchased this time and time again. I will always have this in my collection. This particular bottle is the 1.6 ounce. Um, I recently, well I didn't recently, but I hauled this a couple months back. I did get it off Macari for a really good price. It was in fairly new condition and came with the original box and everything. So the main accords in here are fruity, sweet, woody, musky, and powdery. The, the top notes in here are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, and lemon. Middle notes are violet and jasmine. Base notes are musk, vanilla, cashmere, woody notes, oak moss, amber, and patchouli. So this to me is just a girl in a bottle. A very sweet, beautiful, girly girl in a bottle, if that makes any sense. I love the atomizer in here. Like, it sprays beautifully. When you first spray it, it's just a juicy, sweet bomb of all type of berries. Like you smell the berries in here, the strawberries, the blackberries, you, you get the sour cherry. It's just so fruity, sweet, and girly. Um, I don't get a lot of the violet and the jasmine, but I definitely get the musky notes. It's just a beautiful scent all the way around. This is just, it's top five for life. It's not in my top five for nothing. It's an easy reach. You just smell pretty and girly and just feminine. Like this, I think every woman should own this. It's so beautiful and just amazing. This is the elixir. This is the bottle. Um, I picked up the 1.6 ounce actually. My husband bought this for me and I love him so much because I mean, I love it. So the main accords in here are fruity, sweet, amber, vanilla, powdery, and white floral. The top notes are strawberry, blackberry, middle notes of jasmine, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. So as you can tell, there are not a lot of notes in here. It's definitely cut down from the original. It's only two top notes, one middle note, and three base notes. So the only difference in this fragrance outside of they cut down so many of the different scents, they added sandalwood. The original does not have sandalwood. So, so let's spray. Again, beautiful atomizer. You definitely get the strawberry and the blackberry. Some people say the strawberry in this is very artificial. I don't think so. I think it's just like, I mean, it's not a, I don't think it's an artificial strawberry, but like I can tell it's strawberry. But in this one, it to me dries down so much different and deeper. Like if you had to put these in categories, I would say the original is great for spring and summer, where this one I think is going to be beautiful for fall and winter. You definitely get the amber, vanilla, and sandalwood in this. It just makes it a little different. To me, it's a little bit more sexier. Um, again, I do think that majority of the people, if you like the original, you would definitely like this. So yeah, I just, I think it's beautiful. So as far as needing both of them, do you need both of them? Like, do we really need both of them? No and yes. It depends on you as a person, you as a consumer, what you like. I personally, I need both. Um, there to me, the dry down is different enough that it's okay to have both. Um, I love this one. I do wear this a lot more in the spring and summer, but this one I can definitely wear a lot more in the fall and winter. Um, you do get a little bit of the powderiness, but it's not as powdery as this one. To me, it's a little bit smoother, it's a little bit creamier, and I just really love it. Like, I am so happy to have both that um, I almost wish I would've got the bigger bottle, but I was trying to save him some coins that day, so I decided to get 
the 1.6. Um, I have not seen this one in a travel size uh, because if I did, I probably would get that too because I love keeping, you know, travel size perfumes when I wear them in my purse and stuff. I just hate that the original Burberry's, all the Burberry's that I know, come in a roller ball form instead of a spray. But if they made this in a spray, I would definitely get this. They just decant some of this and put it in, you know, something, one of my travel sprays or something. But I love this fragrance. It's definitely going to be in rotation for me this fall. And I'm just excited to get to know it a little bit better. I mean, not that I need to because I know I love it. On first sniff, I knew I needed it. Like, no one can tell me anything is wrong with this simply because I love Burberry Her. If you don't like the original, you probably won't like this one. This is completely different from like the EDT to me. Some people are saying it's like a combo of the original Her and then the intense version. I don't have that one. I've never smelled that one, so I don't know. So possibly if you have both of those, you might not need this, but I would say just go in, give it a sniff and see if you like it, you know, put it on your skin. I have worn this one like once or twice. To me, it's not, the longevity is not super long because it's kind of a lighter fragrance. Um, but I can get five to six hours of wear out of this before it turns into like a skin scent. Um, but like I said, I love to carry itemizers with me and I would just touch it up anyway, just because that's what I personally like to do. But I love this fragrance and I mean, I love this fragrance. So I definitely feel like you need both. You need both or I need both. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.